Welcome to Washington In Focus. I'm Brett Davis. Joining me today is the Center Square's Western Washington reporter, Spencer Pauley. Uh, you recently authored a story with the headline, Yakima Police Proposed 10% Budget Reductions to Balance City General Fund. Take us into those numbers. Why is the police department being asked to do this? Well, to start, the city of Yakima is requiring all of its departments to find reductions in its budget to save a collective $7.2 million. This is because revenues are falling short of expenditures. And the Yakima Police Department is about 44% of the city's biannual budget. So they're definitely looking in that department itself. That's a rather big chunk of the budget. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, the thing, interesting thing about Yakima Police is that... They are budgeted for about 143 sworn police officers, but they have been under 130 since 2019. Now, usually this could be seen as like a staffing shortage, but uh, what Yakima Police Chief uh, Matthew Murray said is it's basically they are a large city police department for a midsize city police. Now, with that being said, they are looking at proposing 15 cuts to uh, positions, including 11 sworn positions, and this would save the department about $2.1 million. You say they've been understaffed for what, since 2019? Has has that had any effect on crime, good or bad? Or They have still been able to decrease crime within Yakima. And that's what the interesting thing about this is. I believe total crime has reduced by nearly 9% since 2020. If you look more specifically in that, there was a 24% reduction in non-fatal shootings over the last three years and 17% decrease in aggravated assaults. You can look at just the state of Washington itself where averages for crime have increased. For instance, aggravated assaults have rose 15 so it's interesting to see that. No, one thing they said in the budget is that they said it's unquestionable that reducing the police budget will have impacts in some of the services, but they have been operating well below strength for an extended period and should be able to continue to reduce violent crimes. So do, do they have an explanation for how it is that crime has gone down while they're understaffed? Basically because it's just such a small city for what they've been uh, budgeted. So there are still enough people, but the city just over budgeted for the department itself. So these cuts aren't too detrimental as you would think. That seems to go against the, 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 the general story in the state of Washington. I know in the Washington Association of uh, Sheriffs and Police Chiefs report on crime in 2021, the report that came out last year, they found that the state had lost, you know, 500 police officers and the murder and violent crime rate went up. But that doesn't seem to be the case in Yakima. Well, the, yeah, the Washington Sheriff's and Police Association, I believe they say Washington's ranked 51st dead last in the ratio for officers to 1,000 citizens. But you look out here in Yakima, it's just the one outlier, it seems like, that I've covered. Now, is there any timeline for uh, these decisions on the budget and when they'll be enacted? They could be enacted next year. From there on, we'll have to see if more cuts will be made. I believe they said in 2025 they're considering more cuts as well. This is just so that the city doesn't f face a budget deficit that you're seeing in cities such as Seattle. Even though the crime rate has gone down a little bit when they're understaffed now, but I assume that won't you know last forever if they keep making making these proposed cuts. Are have any police expressed concerns with you that you know maybe they'll go too far and cut the budget police Not budget too I've much, heard. and then that will have oh okay. Not that so, I've heard. So it sounds like they're confident they can make these budget cuts and keep crime under control. Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, and we'll see how that goes. If crime still continues to go down, or if there's an uptick once you see these cuts, that will be something to see in the future. Here, what if other cities will follow suit, or or if this is an outlier? That is one thing you're going to want to see is if cities around will watch and see how Yakima Police Department, they work with the staffing changes that they're proposing here. Do you know um, if anything like this is happening in any other cities? Or? This is the first I've seen it. Uh, we'll have to see if you know nearby cities that are about the same size as Yakima do the same thing. But um, it'll be interesting to see for sure. Well, I guess it's nice to hear some relatively good news about crime. For once, you know. <laughs> We look forward to your continued reporting on this issue. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. For Spencer Pauly, this is Brett Davis. Please subscribe and thanks for listening.